and good, uh, which is kind of weird. So it's kind of like it's just like a finickiness little gremlin somewhere in the bike. That seems uh, so. At first, it was the bike was running great, but it was hard to start. Uh, it was doing something funky there uh, early in the season. Then it's the bike starts fine now, but now it's that little hesitation. Now the problem I have is when I come in. Uh, uh, there's a curve that I take to come in, uh, and it's a pretty sharp one. And it's really it's a it's a weird gradient kind of curve back like this as I turn in from the neighboring town, and it, it's complete like it's just complete the the road is completely just destroyed there it's like uh, potholes and gravel it's the worst conditions for a motorcycle to be turning on to at regardless of speed but when i was coming in it, the bike started bunting a bit and i was like okay i don't want that in a curve that that's going to get me killed right um you know it, it was hesitating and then until you get up to speed now once you get up to enough speed the bike smoothens out and a lot of people say well no it's only at this rpm but if you know what to listen for it's at every rpm so if i'm at 3000 rpm okay the, it's not magnified yet it the the that little kind of hesitation pulse which is not bad i mean i'm still talking a pretty smooth bike here but it's starting so it could be a valve uh maybe my valves are ones too tight and uh it's not closing all the way or maybe it's not opening up enough whatever it is i'll have to check the valve timing for that but i was hoping to put the valve adjustment off to the end of the uh end of the season so the other thing is is that uh, as I do this, especially for other TT600 uh, owners out there, you're not going to find any guy on the on the internet that has more videos about the TT600 than than this guy. That's just that's just the way I am. I tend to show everything, but I will show everything I work on. I'm going to take pictures. It's going to be slow. It is kind of rainy today. I did see a couple of bikes out today, but uh, I figure I'm going to be down for the next four days just for maintenance. And that will tell me after four days. I mean, while I have it apart, I might as well work on everything, right? Um, and then I'll know what the bike needs or doesn't need. Uh, if I have to assemble it, disassemble it, it doesn't take long to do that. It's just it's kind of one of those things that, you know, it, it puts you down for the day uh, maintenance-wise, right? So it's like if you have to take the tank off, the fairings off, that's about an hour right there, uh, you know, 45 minutes an hour, just just doing that. Uh, and then obviously anything you're going to work on your bike, make sure you disconnect the battery. Uh, then uh, I don't want to get too long on this because I've got to get it done. Uh, but I, if I can't see really well, maybe what I'll do is I'll hold off to uh, tomorrow. But I don't want to spend too many days down just because of the weather. Uh, i got to get it done. i got to get done. So I'm going to try to get five things done on this bike today. If I can do that, I will be very happy. I've never taken the tank apart before. There is an O-ring in there that I, re I want to be really careful with. Because uh, I don't have a manual, so I'm kind of, um, you know, hopefully not going to get into more. But, I mean, I've, I've, I've uh, to give you an idea, I've probably disassembled uh, 1,500 motorcycle engines in my lifetime. Pro that's probably... a, a, a a fair guesstimate of what I've done. I used to work in, you know, tear apart down a lot of wreck bikes. So there's nothing from this area era of bike that I haven't really seen before. Uh, the fuel injection is a bit new, but other than that, it's actually not so bad. The other thing is, is it could be the fuel mapping. So what I'm really doing is doing my maintenance uh, for everything. Um, and the, the fuel tank pump uh, is something that it, it's not just exclusive. Anybody with a fuel injection should be doing that because if your fuel is not feeding properly, that's going to run rough, right? So hopefully it's something just that stupidly simple or as stupidly simple as spark plugs. But I even hope it more it's this. Why? Because this isn't going to cost me anything but my time to fix up. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to get to it. I'll show you the stuff as I go. I could talk forever in a day, but the more time I spend talking, the, le the longer it's going to take me to get this on the road. Um, even though I love documenting things. And, it, you know, the weather's a little bit down. So, uh, anyway, so it's going to be raining off and on all day. So, I might as well be doing this anyway, uh, today anyway. So, it's a good day to do it. All right. So, I'm just going to get to it and I'll show you as I go.